Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Crimin' Ollie, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today I've got a western for you, The Thicket by Joanne Lansdale. So Joel Lansdale is a really talented writer of entertaining genre fiction. Uh, so I started out writing horror and I first read, um, the first book I read by him was The Drive-In, which is kind of a bizarro horror novel, which I read when I was a teenager um, and had a lot of fun with. I reread it more recently and, and still really enjoyed it uh, and did a review on the channel. Um, He's also, so uh, he's, as I say, he started writing horror, but then moved into writing more kind of crime fiction um, as well as Western. So probably best known now for his Happen Leonard series, which are a series of kind of crime thrillers. Uh, I read the first one of those a while ago and had a really good time with it. Um, he's a, a, a native of Texas, I believe. Um, so has a bit of, uh, I, I guess, a bit of kind of Western in his blood. Um, and the, the Thicket is definitely a Western. Now, I went into this thinking for some reason that there was a supernatural element to it. There isn't at all. It is a, a kind of pure, straight up Western with a bit of a pulpy feel to it. And it's just really a lot of fun. Um, so the story owes a bit to True Grip by Charles Portis in that it's about a young person kind of uh, on a quest for justice, uh, like Maddie Ross in, in True Grip. Um, in this, in, 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 so in the thicket, the, the hero is this, this young guy called Jack, who's kind of about 17 or 18. Um, so he is travelling with his sister and his grandfather, and they get um, they get into a, an altercation with these outlaws um, who kill the grandfather and kidnap Jack's sister. Um, so the book is about him, you know, trying to get justice and trying to rescue his sister. Um he teams up with these two fantastic characters, Eustace, who's this huge mixed race guy who's, who's part white, part African-American um, and part Native American and, and believes himself to, to have uh, the kind of Native American gene, for, as he considers it, for, for tracking, uh, but is actually really not terribly good at tracking at all. Um, the, other, the other character, who's just a wonderful character, is Shorty, who, as his name might suggest, uh, is, is a dwarf. Um, but is like fiercely intelligent um, and always intrigued by things. So a really wonderful character. Uh, they're also joined by um, Eustace's pig, uh, who's called Hog, who is a, um, a, a kind of semi-intelligent pig who seems to understand what he's told to do, um, but basically um, kind of run around, run, runs around and, and eats people who've been, who've been shot by the other characters. Um, so you've got this kind of wonderful found family vibe going on, I think. Um, and the characters all really do develop and get to know each other better um, as the book progresses. Um, and there's a heart to this book, which is which is really appealing. So by the end, it ends up being, uh, despite all the, the kind of bloodshed that, that happens along the way, it ends up being um, quite a charming <laughs> and lovely book by the end. Um, it's full of action. Um, as, as you would expect from that premise. So it's basically these these three characters on a quest, you know, travelling across the country, trying to track down um, the outlaws who've, who've kidnapped Jack's sister. So yeah, there's a ton of action along the way and a lot of the stuff you'd expect from a Western. So, you know, gunfights and bar brawls and things like that. Um, but also, and, and this is something that Lansdale does, which I thought was really interesting. So he sets this deliberately at the end of the, the kind of Wild West period. So um, I, I was trying to figure out exactly when it's set and I'm guessing it's kind of early 1900s. But you get, for example, cars at some points in this story. So you get this sense of the modern world starting to invade um, you know, the, what we consider to be the, the classic West. Um, and that was really interesting. Um, there's almost a sense that these characters are, you know, kind of fighting to, to hang on to the life they know in the knowledge that, the, you know, the world and, and, you know, other parts of America are starting to move on. Um, so that I found particularly interesting. But really, it's the characters in this book that, that draw you in, um, in particular Shorty. So Shorty was definitely my favourite character. Um, and it is impossible to read Shorty. It was impossible for me to read Shorty without imagining Tyrion Lannister from the Game of Thrones books. There's there's a definite similarity between the characters, both in terms of you know the fact they're both dwarves, but also their their intelligence and their determination to um, to to you know, make their own way in the world. Um, 
And indeed, uh, I was I was reading reviews of this on, on Goodreads and somebody had made that same comment and also noted um, that there's a film version of this uh, in production uh, and Peter Dinklage, who played uh, Tyrion Lannister in the Game of Thrones TV show, um, is is part of the cast. I'm sure he'll do a fantastic job and I'm really looking forward to, to seeing the movie when it comes out. One thing I would say, though, is that the N-word is used a lot in this book. So if that's something you're sensitive to, um, you may want to give it a miss. And I'm not for a moment suggesting that the book is racist. Um, Eustace, you know, who's one of the central characters, is black and is absolutely fantastic and, and you know, very well portrayed as well in the book. Um, but, yeah, I do think when, a, when a, a white author uses that word a lot, um, it can be a bit a, it's a choice isn't it it's a choice that Joel Lansdale has made to use it it's definitely um you know realistic to to the period um but I do feel like maybe he could have used it less than he did um but you know everybody's going to be different on that I guess uh, and overall this is a you know a very enjoyable book it's very funny at times um it's full of action there's a genuine suspense to it as well a genuine tension in terms of this chase across the you know across the country to, to rescue the sister Lansdale does a great job with these characters. I love the fact that he uses, you know, types of people who would not typically be the heroes in Westerns to be his, you know, his central trio of heroes in this book. Uh, you know, a, a, a teenager, um, a mixed race person and a dwarf. And he does it fantastically. It's really entertainingly written. And you feel a genuine warmth for these characters as they kind of grow together through through their struggles. Um, so yeah, a really enjoyable book. Um, I had a lot of fun with it uh, and definitely recommend it. So time for a random book from the shelves. I thought I would go with a Western. Uh, so I've got Elmore Leonard's Western Roundup number one, which includes The Bounty Hunters, 40 Lashes Less One and Gun Sights. Um, I've only read The Bounty Hunters so far, but looking forward to giving the other two, two a try at some point soon. So I hope you found that interesting. Let me know if you've read Joel Lansdale and what you think of him. Uh, and as always, thanks very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well out there. Hope you're really good stuff. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.